What is up, you beautiful peeps? You want to see someone get freaking angry today? Well, you're here for it. It was actually a few days back. An unfortunate game crash again in CS2. We have now had two major tournaments with two kind of kind of major game crashes in the past month or so. One at the major, throwing back to Jame. Unfortunately, a very crucial moment for VP versus G2 which went absolutely viral. Gramble retake is on. We won an impossible retake before. Missed shot, that's an opportunity. Missed shot again. Money at the end of the tether, at the end of the rope. The winner of this is There's no kit, there's no kit. Jay, has he, has he crashed? He's crashed, oh no, in a pivot. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm sorry for Jay. open a post spot, that's a dream scenario. G2 have been given road to run. Can they close the gap? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh one. my it's god! Oh he my moves. god! Miraculously, a crash deluxe! Yes. I feel Define bad. Do I feel bad? I don't know. Oh I do feel bad. But I don't! King but I do! On oh this road to the comeback! Imagine my reason crashed out the defuse. He was he was <laughs> and unfortunately, maybe costing them that map, maybe the series at this first CS2 major, Jame and VP handling that situation very well for what it was. And now, well, several weeks later, we have IEM Chengdu, and it's an unfortunate situation for Device and Astralis in a similar, but a little different, which eventually was confirmed as a game crash in this moment versus FaZe. And Device, rightfully so, got very upset. The third map Inferno, we'll see it here again. Misses the shot under so much pressure, right? Think about well, how... And then immediately starts moving again right now. Well, yeah, which is why the old So he didn't tower, disconnect. Ooh, oh, okay. there it is. Well, that tells me he probably didn't ult tap. Oh, and as per usual, all of our CS news brought to you by Thunderpick, our esports betting sponsor. As you guys know, they will be down below. 21 plus only. Please bet responsibly. Unfortunately, there were no betting odds uh, on this event having a game crash. If they ever add that as a segment, I will surely let you guys know. And I think for me, the funniest part about this was I found comments and there was actually more than I thought. There were people upset that he hit the monitor instead of the desk and i don't know about you guys but i'm not in his shoes so i can't judge what i'm gonna hit but i, I would say for a blanket statement when i do get mad at my own setup i'm definitely i'm definitely like a desk pounder you know what do you guys hit and maybe is is it wrong am i a hothead for even hitting things in the first place maybe i'm in the in the niche part of people that get pissed off but especially if i'm playing cs or halo or it's mostly halo right now i will just i'll hit my desk for sure not a big monitor puncher because I have to pay for it, but he probably has has plenty of dough and doesn't have to pay for those things. Regardless of all of that nuance, it is a sucky situation where CS pros are put into situations where the game can crash and it's external circumstances that, that are changing potential outcomes of their careers, which really does suck to see. And it's unfortunate and they have the right to be pissed off. And for this to happen two times in the last month or so in big moments, it doesn't really spell too well for CS2, which also has its own other issues ongoing right now. A bigger, wider issue that I've already talked about once that has only gotten worse has also been the cheaters so far in CS2, which have been beyond belief, especially at higher ranks. So. We have VP Jame with a game crash. We have Device with a game crash and a little bit of a monitor punch. Not great looks, definitely sucky moments. What do you guys think about it? How would you react? I would, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed hitting everything I could. Till next time, take care of yourselves, stay hydrated. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here soon.